Hi everyone, it's Miss Jen from Code Speak Labs again. And we are now going to actually code our story. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use an app called Scratch Junior. It's a completely free app. So if you have an iPad or you have an Android tablet at home or at school, you can use the Scratch Junior app for free. Just get a grown up to download it for you. So I hope all of you have your tablets ready so we can go ahead and get started. Now, when you first open up the app, you'll notice we see our good friend, Scratch Junior Kitten. We're gonna click on this home button and you'll see all the projects in your device. Now, if this is your first time using Scratch Junior, you'll just see the blue circle with the little cross in the middle, that's a little plus sign. So it means that's the place to add a new project. So we're gonna click on that. Now we get to our main coding area. So you'll always see the project here in the middle and you'll be able to watch the animation go. Then on the bottom here, this is actually your code area. We're gonna use all of these different blocks to code our sprites to do different things. And the sprite is just a fancy word of saying what characters um, are in your game. So right now we have one sprite that is scratch in your game. Now up here, is actually the first button we're gonna use. And that's because just as in our story, we're first gonna change the backdrop. Now, stars only come out at night. So let's make sure we get a night scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that top middle square rectangle actually with the picture of like kind of a landscape. So you can see there's lots of different options. I'm gonna just choose one that's at nighttime. So when I click on it, I'm going to tell Scratch Junior that I confirm this is the choice I want by actually clicking this checkbox. So I'm gonna do that. And voila, Scratching Your Kitten is now in a night scene. So now let's add our second sprite, which is going to be the star of the show, pun intended. So we're gonna click on this plus sign to add a new sprite. You'll see there are a lot of different options, just like in the story. We're gonna scroll down, 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 down until we hit a star. Yes, there's the star. So just like last time, we're gonna click the top check in the very top right. And then bam, there's the star. But uh-oh, just like in our story, the star is squishing the Scratch Junior Kitten. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our finger and touch our star lightly. Oh, I accidentally moved the kitten. I'm gonna move the kitten back down. And I want to move the star up. Because I want the star to be up above the world so high. So now once you have the star on top and the kitten on the bottom, we can go ahead and start coding our star. So one thing that's really important is you have to make sure that you're coding the correct sprite. So every sprite can have its own code. Right now there's a star here in the lower left corner, that tells me I'm coding the right character. Now, let's say I had tapped on the cat, and you'll notice that in that bottom left corner, the cat's there. So any code I drag into the coding area now will go to the cat. So let me go back to the star. Oop, I just tap on it, and then it will appear there. So that means this code will be for the star. So does anyone remember what was on that first block in our story? Hmm. 
Well, if you can't remember what was on it, maybe you can remember what the colors were. So it was a yellow background and then a green flag on top of it. So you know this, that there are different categories based on color of blocks. So this is the yellow category, this is the blue, purple, green, and so on. So what we're gonna do is click on the yellow category. And you'll notice that first block that appears is the green flag on top of the yellow. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna to touch that green flag and just drag it down Oop, into the coding area. One easy way to remember this is green means go. So this is the flag that's telling you, start your project, go. Okay, so now the next color block that we're looking for is purple. To make the star look, look like it twinkles, we're gonna play with its size. And size has to do with how things look. So in Scratch, Scratch Junior World, purple is about looks. Okay, so we're gonna pick the block that makes something go big. So it kind of looks like a person getting bigger and bigger. So they start small and they get bigger and bigger. You'll notice it says the number two as the first thing. We'll keep that there so we can compare. Now we'll do a shrinking block. Okay. So it basically looks like the opposite of the first one. So when we press the green flag, we'll expect it to whoop, get big and whoop, get small. So I'm gonna press the green flag now at the top right over here. So that actually runs our code. So the green flag up in the top runs our code. So it's a little bit too subtle though. It happens so quickly, I can barely, barely tell. And I have to keep on clicking that green flag if it wants to keep happening. Okay, so the way that we change how big and how small it goes to, I'm gonna click on this number down here. And instead of two, I'm gonna make it 20. Cause I want it to get really big and then really small. So again, I tap on the two and then the keypad appears and I will tap on 20. So now when I press the green flag, oh, it gets much bigger and then smaller. What do we do to make it keep on twinkling over and over and over forever? I need a block that's in the red section. And that is this repeat forever. So I'm gonna bring it down here. Let's see if it works. So now again, I'm gonna press the green flag that's way up top. So it gets big, it gets small, and then it keeps on going. Whoa. So if you have more time during class, I encourage you all to experiment with all of these different really cool blocks. You can even add code to your cat. You can make things happen when you tap on the cat. You can make it move around and jump and whoa, 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 whoa. But anyways, I'm just playing around and I would love it if you would too. Thank you so much for coding with me today. Bye everybody.